Hey guys, it's anyway, Elp here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, today Apple just released a minor update for all iPhones, iPads, and Apple Watch. Today, Apple released iOS 17.0.2 for all iPhones. Now, you may remember when I mentioned this software update, and that is because this software update was first made available for the iPhone 15 and 15 Pro. So, if we go here, just a couple of days ago, this software has been out for the iPhone 15 and 15 Pro. Now, there is a change on the build number here. So, we see 17.0.2, 21A. 350. So if we go into today's release, iOS 17.0.2 on other iPhones here. So Apple is basically sort of unifying the updates here just to make things clear. 17.0.1 was out for all iPhones when Apple released 17.0.2 for the iPhone 15. So now things are sort of unified. Everyone is running 17.0.2. It is available as of right now. The download is approximately 300 to 400 megabytes of a download. You can download it right now by going to settings general and software updates in iOS 17.0.2 should be made available to you. Now let's go into the about section here. Let me show you the bill number. So right there you see the bill number has changed towards the end. So 21A351 to today's release for all iPhones and the previous 50 towards the end for the iPhone 15 and 15 Pro. But this software update basically fixes the same issue as it did on the iPhone 15 and 15 Pro lineup. And Apple says here this update fixes an issue that will prevent data Data from being directly transferred from another iPhone during the setup process as you can see right there so you may remember the issue where some users couldn't transfer their data from an iPhone 13 or 14 over to the new 15 this issue has now been also addressed on older devices in case you were having issues with that this update fixes that now iOS 17.0.2 was also released alongside iPad OS 17.0.2 and watch OS 10.0.2 are all available as of today to download to fix these issues with a data transfer. Now, there's also a few questions that you guys were having. Does this software update bring some of the changes added to the iPhone 15, such as the battery cycle count and the new optimized battery charging feature? So if we go into the battery category here, and then we go into battery health and charging, the iPhone 15 and 15 Pro have these charging optimization options right here available, as you can see. Now, you guys were asking, does this come over now to the older iPhones as well has Apple added this so let's go here into the battery section let me go ahead and show you here firsthand so let's go into the battery health and charging options you see here that we do not get that feature on the iPhone 14 or any older iPhone with this software update so that did not come over to these devices as of yet I'm hoping that Apple will add this you guys were also asking can we now see the battery cycle count on older iPhones as well as something only available for the iPhone 15 and 15 Pro so if we go into general General, about and we scroll all the way to the bottom right here we have a new category for battery so manufactured date we also have first used and battery cycle count so let's go into the iPhone 14 Pro Max here let's go into the about section and let's take a look here firsthand you see that at the bottom we do not have that battery section either so for those of you wondering does this bring some of those battery health and battery cycle count features over to older iPhones the answer to that is is no not as of right now ios 17.0.2 only fix the issue where data transfer wouldn't occur throughout the setup process and i just wanted to make you guys aware of that the software is out again for everyone right now 17.0.2 for the iphone ipad os 17.0.2 for the ipad and watch os 10.0.2 is now available as of today thank you for watching just wanted to make you guys aware of this and i'll see you guys on the next one peace